writing the mail and the sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a special pick up and play video. These are not actually my pickups, this is my um, good friend Brendan who um, drops in on occasion. He found these couple of Atari 2600 cartridges at the local markets down here in Tassie, Australia. Um, and they're a little bit unusual so he's, he has lent them to me so I can make a video on them. Um, so the first one, so it's a Telesis Games and I haven't played it before, it's called Fast Food. And he reckons it's one of his... Um, favourite games he likes to play um, and he was very happy to find a copy of it so he really wanted me to play this one and show it to you guys um, and he reckons there's not too many videos but as I said I haven't played it so I'm actually quite interested in playing it so it's a slightly different cartridge shape too it's got a big P on it too so that means PAL um, and the other one so at the top label it just says 64 game um, the, as this other label is a little bit damaged and faded now there are, and I'll put two pictures up two references to 64 game but I don't think either of them are this cartridge um, one of them is quite rare um, and the other one's a little bit more common and I said oh, I'll flash these up, I've got two, two images and I've only found one picture of this other one but the picture they show on the box doesn't quite match this picture that I can only just Put that as close as I can for you guys. See for this one, and I can't. The one picture I have, the resolution is not fantastic, so I can't read the games list, which was printed on a label that was on the back. Now this one you can see has had a label on the back as well, with a little bit of glue. Although the glue doesn't go over all over it. Now it says made in Taiwan, so this probably would have been a multi, you know, rip-off cartridge that was released in Taiwan somewhere. So. And there's another one that's 64 game, 64 in one game, um, and that one, you know, the picture shown there doesn't match this one either, and I don't think the game list matches this either. So I thought we're not going to obviously play all 64 games, but we can have a quick flick through and um, see what some of them like. So without further ado, let's plug my, I'm going to use my Atari 7800, which plays 2600 games fine, and it's also composite modded. Let's plug that in and give it a go. Right, so as soon as you fire up, fire up this one, it um, gives you a bit of a, deli, a demo mode. So Telesis, copyright 1982. Um, you basically have to eat as much of the food that's going past as possible without eating the red chilies. Every time you eat a red chilli, you sort of point and you go up to a level that says you're getting better. So very simple. So we'll give this a go. So, eat the food, avoid the red chilies. And as you can see, the things start coming at different speeds. Whoops! Oh, my chili! Ah! So there's a new level, and you press your button to get going, and things speed up. So it's a score attack game, but you're not penalised for missing any food. I think it takes you longer to whoops, oh god, finish the level. Oh. Two in a row. Oh. I'm almost dead already. Crikey. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, I've got 
got wiped out there. So 578. Let's give it another go. for getting everything. Previous score, have we? All five seven ninety eight, so almost. All now. Oh, oh. Well, that's a good, what you want out of Atari twenty six hundred, which is basically quick pick up and play, and have a bit of fun with, and it obviously gets hard, so. Oh, it's actually kept my previous score, 578 and 893, so it shows that I've made an improvement to it. So it's actually quite a polished cartridge. I've never seen that one for real, so I've never seen that cover or anything like that. Um, but, um, yeah, Brendan really loves that game. So, all right, let's plug in the um, 64 game one and uh, see what we can find on it. Okay, so I've got the 64 game cartridge. Now, this IQ 180, I think it... Um, there's a few educational games on here. Um, now to change games, we've got to turn the system on and off like that. Now, unfortunately, my um, SCART little thing is going to pop up every time, but it'll go away in a second. So this is a game I believe is a bit like Missile Command. You've got your things down the bottom you have to defend. Collision detection's not too good. And the sounds are pretty full on. Lucky they're just missing my cities. Or houses or whatever it is we're defending. Well this is Oh look out oh that's disabled my gun for a while. I mean all this is this is actually not a bad game. Oh, my God. 
too much fun with that one so we we better move on so that's a really good one now this is quite a good game you have to okay we've got to build the building that is presented to us so you sort of have to remember it as well so you go get your blocks And you build. That's it. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Occasionally a dog comes out there and kills you. No, I'm not sure how you're supposed to. He's safe up on the ladder. Ah. I can't lay that last brick. Oh, anyway. You have to be careful about which way you lay the bricks, or you can get caught like I've just been done. But anyway, you have to build the tower, so it's not a bad game. Probably would have enjoyed it. The controls a little finicky. Okay, this one's River A Two. Um, it should. So, at least I think it's River A Two, or it's a blatant rip off of River. A. There's no, doesn't seem to be any. Sides though. So there you go. Okay, so this is some strange clown game. And all, all you do is walk across screen. You can't go up or down. And then you encounter placement. So these graphics ripped off from other games. This is probably the depravity of the era. So now we've got two guys to go over. So they've got lots of things happening in the background, but you can't really do anything with those. Oh, that was a bit silly. I mean... This music would send anybody manned within a short space of time. Okay. I don't know why we needed a curtain. Okay, I'm going to escape this game before I turn off half my lizards. Frogger, which is an excellent version. 
some strange chicken game. I said I have had a quick look at these, so um, that one's music is just doing. I think that's frog bog or uh, fly and frog or something, something like that. Uh, wouldn't have a clue about this one. Um, this one's not too bad, except the music is terrible. Oh my poor ears. Um, this one's a little interesting. I've never heard. So on this thing, think on the thing on the right. Oh, I think it keeps on dying all the time. So from what I tell you, you have to shoot your way through this cloud or something like that. But anyway, it's... Oh, dear me. It's actually quite loud. I should turn my own personal volume down. I have to do some post-editing. Um, now this one, I believe, is a paddle game. I said I had a, I had a quick look at these games with Brendan. Um, this is some strange game where you can shoot, you can shoot left and right, and you can also shoot these blocks. And I think I can shoot that. And now it's changed colour. So. Don't seem to get any points for shooting that. And that loses points. So it's almost like we have to be shooting purple stuff. So if I shoot... Oh, green now. So if I shoot green, I get points. So sort of a colour matching game. A little bit of shooting action. Oh, this, this one looks interesting. Okay, I'm controlling the thing up top. So reverse Atlantis. Yeah. Hold some minor gleeful merit. Shoot sideways, there you go. Aha. And you can shoot their shots. So, has merit that one, that was not too, that bad. It's quite funny the ones that borrow graphics from other things. Okay, so now we're into territory, definitely didn't get to this one. supposed to do die obviously oh, okay so I have to time and time this so games it pushes you to become more and more determined to to beat them even if it drives you crazy <laughs> no how did I get past it before Somehow we've got a 
Oh, so I reckon it's restarting the game automatically on me. So you just get to a certain... Oh, fuck up. You get to a certain stage in your one of it. Alright, well, let's move on. That one could be interesting, although... Oh, look, Berserk. Very topical, because I'm writing a Berserk for the Clicker version right now. Now somebody made a silly comment that, um, you know, you, you've got to make the Coleco version sound like the Atari 2600 version. Well, the Atari 2600 version does not sound like the arcade game. That's not what I'm trying to achieve. It's a good version of the game. It's a bit simpler though. Keystone Capers. Excellent game. I have no idea. What in the hell did I do? What am I doing? It's jumping around. Okay, this is weirding me out. Okay, let's move on. That's a bit strange. Mariana. Is this is a rip-off of Sequest? Yeah, it's Sequest with different, um, same sound effects. I know this game Sequest very well. Hold the record on it. Classic divers before your air runs out, or energy in this particular case. Okay, let's see if it has the ship at the top. Not so far. I mean, this is just what happened back in the day, so somebody took Sequest, um, changed the graphics, and made it their own game. I like the original graphics better. Changed it to spaceships instead of subs. And you do need to shoot out rows, otherwise you get blocked out by the subs. But if you clear, well, not subs, they're not subs, they're spaceships, aren't they? Clear the spaceships, you'll get a diver. and get recharged but that progresses every time you die or do that it progresses the level so the idea is to collect them all without doing that so it's a good game but interesting to see how people rip off games like that okay no game I have no idea what this is going to be okay why was I a dragon and now I've disappeared I don't know what in the hell's going on here. Fire. Oh, breathing fire. Oh my god. You can barely... It's almost like the shapes aren't showing up sometimes. Okay. Weird. Okay. I'm game. What the hell am I doing? I think I'm the pirate ship on the left. Oh, this is buggy as all hell. So, if you can believe it, I'm this jerky ship on the 
left hand side. Oh, that, that's fairly interesting, but barely playable. Home vision, oh my god. Okay, any guesses of what we have to do? Okay, so we're going to find find the monster. I take it by looking in. Oh. I can't move once I get on this bit. I got that this time. Oop. And they chase me. So what am I supposed to do now? I put a dot. Okay, the dot can block them. Oh. Suggestions of Bomberman, maybe? I don't know. Not bowling. Um, slot, slot race, isn't it? Uh, any guess? What do you reckon? Circus? Yep. Which is actually... Oops. Whee. Which is a good fun game. Everybody should play circus. Okay, circus. Okay. Okay, didn't want to run into that. Oh, God, no. So no one of these, you have to try and progress from left to right. And it's bound to send me army. Duck, no. Over the fountain. Yeah, okay. So they're into progressing games. Ooh, boom bang. Is this a rip off of something? Oh, oh. oh I see. Check. Boom bang. Okay. So sort of reverse. Um kaboom. This one's not bad. This one has merit. I don't mind that one. That one that one probably oh, yeah. that one has its own you know, it's playable. Don't ask me how I managed to survive that. That one's not bad. Let's keep going. That's a pure rip off of River Aid, different colours. Okay, I'm game. Flying around, aren't I? I don't know what's going on. Can't seem to do anything. Okay. Needs more investigation. Pac Man. Ooh, climbing game. Like climbing games. Ooh, miss. Not good for us. Try again. 
Okay, don't go off the right-hand side. Well, I think he's throwing something at us. And he's throwing bananas at us. Oh. Tricky jumps. interesting. Okay. Okay, so I'm digging here. This just reminds me of another game I've played before. Um, so we've got to destroy a set. Right. Oops. Right, so I have to get those things. to do that before that tank reaches that. I take it different colour tanks going to be more intelligent. That's not bad, that's probably worth playing again. Okay. Oh no, not more music. Okay, still a big interest scene. Looks pretty impressive though. Okay, can I actually do something? I'd really like to be able to do something in here. Ooh. Okay, we have some form of shoot em up. Well, you can only see the enemy. It was so often. Besides well, the fact of not being able to see the guys all the time. Not other than the horrible intro tune. That's got some merit. So. Okay. So we put fives out, right? Is that right? I don't know. I'm 
controls are a bit weird. Alright, moving on. As in, we're not going to do all 64 games. Uh, motocross? Xonox, I think. Uh, ooh, no, platform game. Once again. Okay, not a platform game. Actually, a shooter of some kind. Not sure of the point, but I'm shooting the things walking across the branches. Alright, they're dropping stuff on me now. Two at once. That are not bad, ready. Pyramid Wars. This is, this is a rip off of Chopper Command, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Yes, this is basically a rip off of Chopper Command. <laughs> Love it. Just like on the NES. This happened on the NES too. Ooh, not sure about this one. supposed to shoot that? Maybe not. Oh. Oh. Shoot some things. Right. Rescue those. Yep, okay. Okay. Shoot those. So I can see I'm watching the maze down the bottom there. Whoops. Right. You gotta navigate through the maze down the bottom part as well. That one has merit. Might, might be worth playing that one again later. Um so that's a rip-off of um I forgot the name of the game now, but you've got to complete the squares basically. Like this. Um, yeah, you've got to fill the squares in. Cool. <laughs> Rip off of Pitfall. Tomboy. Uh, looking a bit lantisy. Yep. Yeah. So you've got a lantis with different... Different um, graphics and different sounds. Pretty much the same gameplay. I really love how they take these. Oh, good video pinball. Don't think we'll play that one. Uh, I don't know. Can we go up. This one's really fun. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing other than shoot the guys. Scanner. Oh, 
it's fun. I, I, I'd give that one kudos. I don't know what it's called. Whack a mole? Let me guess, whack a mole. So we're going to go here. Hit them. Who knows what I'm supposed to be doing? Ah, there we go. See, I got one that time. Yeah, you gotta hit them before they get out of the holes. Different. These games are. Okay. I'm supposed to. Looks like I'm trying to catch something, maybe? I don't know. Alright, try it again. Too many games on here. Okay. Let me give that a try. It's like a teddy bear. Right, so I have to try and climb this while being attacked by some mad hawk thing. Landing on the Hulk? Ooh, maybe I did. Okay, thanks, Gabe. Oop, bullshit. Oh, yeah. Ooh, drop dead charges, right? You can see the stuff coming on the radar. Mm. Mm, shoot up that side. I made a game like this. Um, my early programming days. This is not bad. I can play this. But Tom and this is fairly hard. I think that's got him. No, it didn't. It missed him. close to finishing a level. I like that one. That's a good one. Okay. Okay, I am the pink submarine. Oh. Ah, 
I don't want him in. You know what I'm supposed to do? Right. No man. So you click more men. And now, oh, we don't seem to be able to collect any more men. I've disappeared. I'm disappearing all the time, and that makes it very difficult. Oh, I've got bugs in them. Okay, don't seem to be able to... Oh, he's going back and putting them in the ship. Now I can collect them again. It's not having that feedback that things are happening sometimes, and your ship disappears, and you can't see. Okay, we seem to... have an... like an operation type thing. Oh. <laughs> That's an interesting bonus game. Uh, Dragonfire? Oh, demon attack. So there's some decent games on this. Um, Puyan. Oh. Mafia. Oh, we're going to shoot. We're going to shoot people like this. See? Oh. Okay. Oh. Bad guy. Not a bad guy. Bad guy. That's it. Good guy. Oh, you're gonna get them before they shoot you. That's the way. Oh, he was a bit. He's supposed to do the good guys and bad guys, but yeah. Once again, has merit. Galactic something. Pseudo 3D sort of thing. Oop, you can get killed on this. Okay. Galactic 1, Galactic 2, okay. Sometimes. Well, it's different anyway. All right. Uh, Jawbreaker. Excellent game. Uh, is this laser gates? Oh no no! This is um. You gotta get, stop the candy from getting to the teeth. Teeth is awfully like megalomania in some ways. And as you can see, you can reverse, and you've got to, after a little while, you've got to protect both sides. You've got a certain amount of toothpaste to protect. Now we're up the other way, so I take it. So, actually, not a bad shooter. I'll keep going. But he's going to Barnstormer. Uh, Grand Prix, there. Drag Race. Ski, maybe? Too long. Uh, I'm not going to guess. Okay. Well, as you can see, there are. Make a false one. There are many, many games on this. And there's enough 
where your character disappears when you fire. Mm. Alright, so I'll leave it at that, because that's probably enough of um, but a very interesting cartridge. Um, and there are actually some quite good games on there that both I've never played before, um, or I don't have physical copies of, so other than the annoyance of having to turn the console constantly on and off to actually get to the game you want, that's the only way you can select them unfortunately. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. So, two very interesting cartridges. Um, now I'll have to work out how I can steal them off Brennan. Only joke. Um, so thank you, Brennan, for bringing those along and for letting me uh, play through them and show them to you guys. Right, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.